Hi, I'm Carla from the Animal and Habitats Department at Cardini Science Center. Welcome to Something to Watch, a series where we share fun science videos for educators, families, and children of all ages. So today, I would like you to join me while we take care of some of our amphibians. Particularly today, we're going to uh, work with our gray tree frogs. So let's go and feed our tree frogs. So here are our two of our three gray tree frogs. Um, I will get the third one here in a second, but they're going to be having crickets today. Um, so they eat very quickly. Uh, in the wild, they would be catching mostly soft-bodied insects uh, in the trees, uh, things like moths. They also would eat ants and other flying insects. Um, they're very sticky. Um, so if you watch when I try to put our third one down, uh, he's sticking to my hands. He's now sticking to the glass. If we turn a little bit, um, there's our tree frog stuck to the glass. Uh, sometimes these guys are a little hard to feed because they do jump around so much. Uh, they don't always stay still. Uh, now the large one that's in the center of the screen right now is our older uh, tree frog. The other two are babies. Uh, they were born in 2019 so they're very young uh, this species can live quite some time uh, 10 years is not uncommon for this species uh, in captivity so they are a longer lived species they're pretty common uh, in Pennsylvania you'll hear them a lot they should be singing uh, if it's April or May a lot of times you will hear them singing in the trees, uh, it's a pretty distinctive call. Uh, the, the call is usually from the trees. You'll find it a long, along waterways. Um, we do hear them sometimes here near the Science Center. And that distinctive call is a Now our tree frogs here in captivity, they will sometimes sing for us. Here is one of our tree frogs. Now the back pattern on our tree frogs is individualistic. So we can tell individual tree frogs apart. Uh, and this is very helpful so we can watch their health uh, and their eating habits. If we look from the one on my hand to the older uh, male here, you can see his pattern is very different than the pattern on this one. So that allows us to tell the difference between our individual tree frogs. And there's that very distinct, sticky footed behavior. So if we zoom in here a little bit, we can see how the edge of their toes is very enlarged. Uh, that is what is allowing him to climb the glass. They also are very good jumpers. Uh, so if you imagine them being in trees, they can jump from branch to branch in trees or between two trees if the two trees are close enough. Next time you're at Carnegie Science Center, come by and visit our amphibians and ask our friends in red more about the animals that live here in the H2O field station. Hope to see you soon. Bye.